So today I'm all suited up and in my Rolex watch and if that is not telling you that we really mean business today, I don't know what else is going to tell you that. What is going on guys, this is Kojo Forest aka GBP Emperor aka Emperor of Blues. In today's video, I'm going to show you the trading strategy that basically made me $20,000 in just one trade. And the most interesting part of this is that I shared it all live on my Instagram session with my traders and community and followers and then this played out extremely brilliantly and it's something that i feel like most people do not really take particular note of so today's video i'm motivated to show you guys exactly how the trade played out so many people came up to me and was like kojo i didn't really think that this thing was gonna play out but nonetheless it did play out and here you are a genius at this market and i told them that yes i am a genius you can give me that accolade but i feel like following my principle has even done more good than harm and then being very disciplined to my concept is what has been a game changer for me and i want to show you guys all of the tricks and tips that i used in getting that snipers of entry in fact one of the most cleanest entries that you have any trader have catching over 200 pips to make twenty thousand dollars on a single trade just a single trade it's a very simple concept it has been around for a long time but most people just underestimate it but today i'm going to emphasize and take it a step by step to show you how it truly works so generally in trading i really believe that you don't have to just be dependent on one concept or one entry criteria so many traders i've seen that the one of the very basic mistake that they do is that they just stick to one thing it's like okay if all they know is that they're supposed to catch entry on an other block all the time they wake up they're waiting for other block other block other block if all they have to take a trade on or uh, uh, some moving average crossings they're just waiting for the moving average to cross and that's just all they know in fact it is good to sometimes be consistent with some of these things but what i can really promise you is that if you're a trader who has not set yourself to really master the art of having so many ammunitions because trading is like going to the war front war front means that you as a trader must have several you know like you know as a military sniper or as a military general who's going to war they're going to have an ak-47 they're going to have the glock they're going to have sniper gun they're going to have just so many you know guns that they're going to use at any point in time they want to change and then depending on the obstacle or the enemy in front then they determine which ammunition they want to use so it's just like that in trading as well when you come to the financial market you must have all entry criteria just stuck in your head and you watch the market and anytime it presents a opportunity that aligns with one of your entry criteria then you take your sniper gun and then do what you snipe so without wasting my time guys let's dive right into the video and i'll show you that entry criteria that basically made me twenty thousand dollars so guys what you're watching here is gbp usd now i've taught you guys so many things in the market one of the very principal thing that i don't want you to forget is that anytime you see the vertical lines on my chart what they basically denote is what the market is doing in a particular week so if you watch like what we had here this was like uh one two three four five five weeks ago right this was them how the market was trading four weeks ago three weeks ago two weeks ago and then this week basically like we're in the current week so let's say last week right so week one week two this is this present week, week one, week two, week three, week four, and then week five, just like that, right? Now, it's very important for you as a trader to really keep that perspective in mind because what it's going to tell you is that it's going to just show you how the market is behaving at any point in time, right? Now, if you watch GBP, USD, it has actually been in a very bullish trend, right, for a long time now, right? You can see that all the way down here right it's not something that is showing extremely clearly because i have actually zoomed all the way out but let's see if i come to like the weekly time frame you can see it you can see that gbp usd has just been an in an overall uptrend right but obviously it is like me watching the market on a weekly time frame and we cannot get our entry on the weekly time frame if i come all the way down to the daily time frame the signs are still there you can see that gbp usd is moving on an, on an uptrend normally you know that i trade on the four hour time frame so what i come to the four hour what i want to do is that i point out the direction of the market which is like this uptrend right before anything else and then all i gotta do is now zoom in to see the intricacies of what the market is doing now you can see that according to my trend line concept right we have the outer trend line sticking out like that and then we have this type of inner trend line also even displaying we had the first inner trend line here which the market brilliantly um respected right what i mean by respected is that we had point one here point two here point three here and the market just went up 
beautifully like that. If you don't know anything about my trailer and concept, you can watch any of my videos below. If you can't find it as well, just wait. My next couple of videos, I'm going to be shooting a new updated version of my trend line concept. So now that that particular setup has played out, all we just do then is just, just continuously up, adjust and update it, right? But more on that later. Now, if you watch this, like I've already explained to you, we've seen that this market is in an uptrend, but intermittently, we kind of saw GBPUSD moving in this downward trend here, right? Now, you can see that there's a downtrend from that zigzag formation was forming right some people call it a channel some people will call it a trend whatever name you want to give it is all up to you right but on creating this lower high lower low formation right which is very important for you to notice right it hit this high here it created a low here pulled back right also more like in a channel formation and then continued lower right pull back again right after forming this low here so you can see that there was a low here there was a low here this low was taken out the market came back right here a traders a trader that is very skilled can use like the fibonacci concept to get a, a continuation in there but the most important thing is that you can see how the market was flowing in terms of concept or in terms of ideologies right so you can see that right if you follow all the trading concept that you know trading ideologies you know this thing should have literally been playing out in the way you understand best but the most important part of the phenomenon comes from this low that was formed here right this particular low that was formed right here right so now considering that low that was formed there right ideally this is how we would see the market right the market just came hit that low and then traded up like that so the most immediate low in the market was this very one right here right and what i like to do for any immediate low is that i put this horizontal rail line just beneath it so that it did know that this is the very last low of the market right and I can remove this channel thing here. So all the time, subsequently, what I'm expecting is that when the market comes to that low again, what will be the reaction it creates before it goes up? And that's a very important concept that is very undermined in the market. But the moment you start understanding liquidity, you start understanding volatility ranges and volatility zones, then it will open your mind to a new realms in the market, right? So here, what we can observe is that we saw this market literally just come back down like that right tap into that level some people say liquidity was taken and how would you know liquidity was taken because those lows was taken out around here and then what do we see happen subsequently we saw the market push lower and then push back up again right so here you can see that market has just been moving up and down and then normally with a trend with the intermittent trend in the market you just normally expect that the market should break lower create a new high and then create a new even further low and then just continue like that because obviously with the concept that we understand when it comes to market structure it's like any low should just continue creating further lows right so it's like lower high lower low lower high lower low which would denote overall what a down trend but what we observed here is that that was not quite exactly what was happening with this particular formation right we saw the market hit that level instead of it to break it and create new lows it started rejecting at that level and then even pushing further up right but that's where it gets interesting because by then you must also understand that according to our trend line concept we would have already plotted 0.1 point 0.2 on this range which is denoting our resistance trend line so in our trend line concept we don't only really have like the support trend line we also have the resistance trend line because resistance trend line means that the market is being resisted from going further up here you can see that it came down it pushed back up a little bit came down pushed back so this is, has become more like something we call a counter trend line in the market so you can understand this from the concept of counter attack right in a football match when like suddenly the opposing team literally switches up and then starts attacking from an attack that was initially intended for them so in a counter trend line scenario in the market the market is already going an uptrend there's an opposing trend line that is preventing it from continuing and suddenly what happens right that is the ideology that what happens is the most important right so once you start seeing the market creating such a formation where you will like okay this one more like looks like a countering of the predominant trend which is that uptrend that you can see here right because the predominant trend is this uptrend that we're seeing here so anything happening after that is that countering countering that predominant trend right but must we always believe that counter in that predominant trend no it means that it's not necessarily establishing itself as the strongest trend but it's just trying to like confuse traders especially those that don't know much about these type of ideologies and concepts in the market overall right so 
looking at that, I knew very well that the market was going to continue bullish. But the most important is that when was it going to continue bullish? Because as a trader, you can know that, yes, this market is an uptrend, this market is a downtrend, but that's not what is important. What is very important is that the timing that you determine that this is actually going to go up. Because that's where you're going to maximize on your entry to make the most out of a particular trade. At the same time, literally minimizing your drawdown. And if you don't have that, you don't know how to trade. Basically, you don't, you're not able to get the best of entries and maximize your positions in the market. So yes, I saw this. My initial ideology or initial expectation was that we're going to have to some way, somehow see this market break out of this, come back down like this, and then move back up. And that was exactly the concept that I shared on my Instagram live. And then coming down, there are obviously so many obstacles that will cross. Would have to trade above this range. Would have to also trade above this range. And then perhaps would also try reaching these highs here. And that would be like the obvious final take profit for a beautiful setup like this. So I went on Instagram live and I told my traders that, look, you don't want to mess up with this type of setup. They play out very well. But the confusing thing is that that very morning we had the market already taken off, right? So already taken off, what I mean is that we had already observed the market breaking out of that range like I anticipated because remember, it's a new week, right? So the market had already made signs of pushing up bullish. And then I was on Instagram live and I was telling them that, guys, don't expect this market to just rally all the way up because that's what like most beginners who have quick trigger fingers would expect. They don't have the patience to wait because like Kojo, you're saying this market is going to go bullish and it's already showing signs of going bullish. Why do we then have to wait, right? So they don't have any patience to wait. And then you can see that this market had pushed up indeed, right? You can see from here. Now it's just showing as a wick, but then it was showing as a full blown candle, which was just sticking out like that. Right. And I know that a lot of traders had already even jumped in, but I was warning them that guys, you don't want to jump in on this. I have seen this before. I am a master of this type of concepts. And what I can tell you is that you should verily expect a massive pullback. And when the market does that pullback, that is when it will be comfortable to go up. And that is where you're going to ride the most out of this market. So I had so many people jump in here and there, but I'm like, no, diamond fingers. I'm going to sit on my hands and wait for the market to come to my entry and play out. And I told them that nonetheless, you can have scenarios like this where the market will just not come back. It is perfectly okay. What is most important for you to understand as a trader is that if you premeditate your concept and the market does not fulfill those concepts, it's just okay. It saves you a hell of a ton of time and, and just out of frustration because you know that you are playing by your game plan so many traders don't play by their game plan and if you're a trader that doesn't play by your game plan their plan will play against your game <laughs> so all the time i'm totally comfortable when i have premeditated that i want to see the market doing this and this is when i'm going to now jump in and then suddenly it doesn't do that it's okay i don't have any remorse i'm just going to let it slide because the market will continue trading and I'm definitely going to get another opportunity again. So I did wait. Diamond hands, like I said, sat on my hands, idle hands, waiting for the market to come back to that entry. By then, I had already set or predetermined my entry ranges and then my stop loss and my take profit ranges, which is very important. I've said that several times that as a trader, all the time you want to predetermine your entry ranges. This trade allowed me to raise just around some 35 to 40 pips, right? And with a potential take profit of about um, 200, right? And then, so we had already observed that pullback and the moment it came into that pullback, the risk parameters has already been determined. When it gets to that level, there's basically nothing to wait for again. All you got to do is just jump in straight on this street and that was exactly what I did. And then where we can observe is that, look at this. Just tapped into that range, beautifully rallied all the way up. And I'm still in this trade with a few positions, expecting final take profit around this region to be hit. So this is a full breakdown of that simple trend line break and retail strategy 
that made me 200 pips so many traders were requesting that could you can you do a breakdown of this and here you have it guys i want you to sit down back test go over it meditate over it premeditate over it and look at what you can actually learn from this because this is a full gem that i've actually revealed to you right here if you want to connect with me on social media connect with me on all social media at kojo F O R E S. Click in the link in the description to join the Kujo Forest Telegram community, the number one trading community that is going to elevate your trading career to the very heights that you want. Smash the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Click also in the link in the description to purchase my Kujo Forest Good Strategy, the number one trading course that everybody is literally talking about now. It is probably one of the only courses that has sustained all market conditions and it has lasted the test of time, which means that it's a strategy that will probably last us for a lifetime. And if you purchase this course, you also get access to my private mentorship where I do Sunday weekly analysis with them and we look at the chart and we break down some of these concept as well so that is the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it and you want more of this so if you want more of this you want to smash the like button and subscribe and then turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video you get notified i come your way again tomorrow with another exciting video i'll see you guys in the next one peace